A new study says that solar panel and battery advancements will mean by the end of this decade, there's likely to be hundreds of millions of people worldwide who go off the grid. This will completely change the planet as we know it and will make owning and operating an EV a significantly more logical thing to do. Keep in mind, the main cost of your electric car is not servicing it. Most of them don't really need to be serviced. The main cost is simply recharging it. And if you have a battery pack and solar panels, well, there goes your transportation costs right there. This is a huge benefit and many billionaires have predicted this would happen. In fact, some of the most famous and wealthiest investors in the world have said the world be, will be completely transformed within the next decade as a result of these technological advances. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. 90% of the world lives on the Sun Belt. However, Europe doesn't get as much sun on average versus places like Southeast Asia. Asia, Australia, Africa, the Middle East, etc. But that said, more than 30 million homes in Europe will meet all of their energy needs using rooftop solar panels alone within a couple of years' time. That's according to a new study. Researchers from the Institute of Technology in Germany found that more than 50% of Europe's 41 million freestanding homes could have been self-sufficient three years ago using just solar and batteries, with this figure expected to rise to 75% within 15 years. Advances with solar technology mean that it will also make it economically viable and completely logical for a massive portion, in fact, for millions of these freestanding single family homes to abandon the electrical grid completely in the coming decades. In fact, it's predicted hundreds and hundreds of millions will do so and that global grids will completely change as we know them today. Rather than abandoning the grid altogether though, the researchers said it would make more sense at a macroeconomic scale for households to remain connected and simply feed excess energy back to other users during times of overproduction. Our results show that even in 2050, going off grid won't be the most economic choice, but it will make sense to invest in these kinds of self-sufficient buildings if you are willing to pay more for self-sufficiency, said lead researcher Max Kleinbrahm, an energy economics researcher at the Institute of Technology in Germany. It would be less efficient to have a large number of households abandoning the grid rather than supporting it. Now, there is a place here in Australia, it's called Adelaide, South Australia, where they run primarily off wind and solar. In fact, solar is the largest source of energy. And in fact, in October this year, as in the month that just passed, 86% of the grid's needs came from solar and wind. So it is viable and this is happening today, all over the world. One of the key reasons for it is massive declines in the cost of solar panel and battery energy storage. This research was detailed in a study titled, Two Million European Single Family Homes Will Abandon the Grid, published in the scientific journal, Jewel. The price of solar panels has fallen enormously in recent years with the cost of solar power dropping nearly 90% over the past decade, according to calculations made in September by Berlin-based Mercator Research Institute on Global Commons and Climate Change, or MCC. Lead researcher Felix Krutzig said the falling costs will mean that the world's entire energy consumption in 2050 could be completely and cost-effectively covered by solar technology and other renewables such as wind. A separate study conducted by researchers at the University of Exeter and the University College of London published last month found that solar energy has reached an irreversible tipping point that will see it become the world's main source of power within 30 years time. The recent progress of renewables means that fossil fuel 
dominant projections are no longer no longer realistic. They're completely false, said Femke Nish from the University of Exeter. Using three models that track positive feedback, we predict and project that solar PV will dominate the global energy mix worldwide by the middle of this century. What this means is that half of Europe's family homes will be energy self-sufficient with solar and storage within a relatively short period of time. Now, this study doesn't really take into account what we've seen happen over the last six months, and that is solar and battery prices have come down so much that even experts are completely shocked. Already today, 53% of the 41 million buildings included in the analysis could theoretically go off grid and have a fully self-sufficient supply of electricity and heat using only rooftop solar alone. However, this research was based on the cost of solar panels at the beginning of this year. Since then, solar panel prices have come down a further 40%, meaning these calculations are actually slightly pessimistic compared to what is most likely going to happen. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching.